Hi everyone. Okay, so this morning my friend sent me a message and let me know that the there was a place that we had visited before that was having a sale. This was a reuse, resale craft shop, craft and sewing shop. And um, this is one of those places where you just never know what you're going to find. And so if you see something you like, you need to get it because it's not guaranteed that you'll get it if you when you come back. So this shop was having a sale where um, fabric was $2 a pound. But if you buy all the fabric on a bolt, it ends up being a dollar a pound. So I wanted to show you what I got because I don't know if you can see. I don't want to crinkle the bag because it's loud. But there's a big bag here. And I got everything for less than 30 bucks. So, okay, heads up. Um, I'm going to be a grandma again for the ninth time. So my ninth grandchild will be born this year. And so when you have that many little ones, I all I think about is costumes. So I got some costume stuff. Okay, so when you have a lot of girls, tool is always nice, really light, so probably pretty inexpensive. And then I got this and it is, I really should have bought scissors. I don't have any here. There we go. Um, this is t-shirts. So I'm thinking maybe summer dresses for the little girls, or I could even make my grandson some pretty groovy pants. So there is one, two, about two and a half yards of that. And then some flannel. This would be a nice receiving blanket or even maybe a nightgown. Super cute, girls or boys. Okay, this stuff, I just, I have a thing for bling. And so I got it and I got a lot of this stuff. So all I'm thinking is princess dresses. So cute, silver. And then, oh, but look at this. I made my other granddaughter a silver tissue lame and white tool dress. If I can find a picture, I will post it somewhere around here. This is not the tissue lame. It's, I don't know what it's called, but you can hear it kind of sticking to itself. But there is a ton of this, so I think it will look really good with that um, glittery one that I just showed you. And I don't know how much this is, but if I keep doing this, it's just going to be really loud trying to separate the sticky. And then this, oh my gosh, this looks like mermaid colors. So pretty. And I think that will either go with this satin. I think it's a little off color. I might have some more blue in my stash. Or I think it goes better with this one. So, and but this one's, there's quite a bit of this. So I'm not sure what I'll make with these. I just, all I see is princess dresses for the, all the girls. So those are fun. And then I bought this for me. I'm not really sure how I want to use it. Um, I'm trying to see if they scratched out the wording, so I don't know. Okay, so when uh, I was going to our church uh, Christmas, it was um, a, serv a server's... Um, volunteer appreciation dinner or something like that. I found this really beautiful skirt and it was like fitted at the waist and came out A-line with a little bit of gathers. Not It wasn't a complete circle skirt, but it had a little bit of gathers, not too many. 
and it would just fit beautifully and then there was tool underneath so it had a nice um, silhouette and I couldn't afford it and then I saw this and I'm like this has a lot of body but it's not the same fabric so this feels like cotton that was taffeta and I felt the weight of this and I really really wanted it I don't know how I'm going to use it yet but fla black fabrics always nice so one two three four five six seven seven yards that's a lot and it, it kind of looks like linen. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but I think I love it. And then, of course, all these cute baby prints. I love these woodland animals for babies. This is kind of thin. I want to see what it feels like when I wash it and soften it up. But I love these little woodland creatures. They're so cute. And then... These might be, these might be really cute um, pajama pants for the boys. This is horses and horseshoes. Yeah, I think the boys are gonna like those. And then I'm doing, I think I mentioned in my last video that I'm doing overalls for um, my two aunts asked me for overalls for babies that they want to give them to and then my mom's cousin asked me to make some too and so I just bought some denim and this is you know I'm not really sure if this is it kind of it's really really lightweight so I'm thinking is it chambray but chambray I think is a different fabric a fiber I think but anyway super thin and I don't know. I'm hoping maybe it'll be nice for summertime. You know, I don't know. And then I got this white fabric. I bought this because there are, I'll, I'll do another video on um, another fabric haul I got for free. Um, and I want to make a pair of pants, which I've never made myself a nice tailored pair of pants. So I figure I'm going to have to um, practice. And so I got this white cotton that I could just use to make um, mock-ups of these, um, or muslins of the, the pants that I want. I can't wait to show you guys that other fabric because I got it all for free. You know what they say, it's not what you know, but who you know. Totally true. So one... six and change so over six yards of the white and then the last one it's not pretty um, it's I wish I would have found something that was more like woodland something something with animals on it but whatever but it's not even a canvas but it feels thick like a canvas and the reason why is because um, since I've had my wood stove installed um, I'm having to collect a lot of wood and a lot of kindling and I want to make something that I can carry in with I've been using a bucket but when you're using when you're gr gathering twigs and sticks that are not straight you really can't get a lot in there so if I'm going to make um, a carrier that I can just lay it on here pick it up close the straps and then walk back in so I got all of that and then I got this, I don't know if you can see how much that is. It's a um, fusible fleece for a dollar. And then I got steam a seam for a dollar. 
I was needing some of this for the last video I did. And then Heat Bond. This was um, $2. And then I'll go quickly through these. I got 31 patterns for free because that was part of the deal. Today and tomorrow only, all the patterns are free. So I just love the sleeve detail. I want a pattern that I can make myself a shirt, but I don't want the same like run of the mill shirt. So um, I got this. Now these are not all for me to wear. I look at I look at the patterns and I'm going, oh my daughter-in-law would look good this, or my daughter would look good in this, or I like this element on this particular um, outfit or whatever. And then I got a lot of um, costumes. I love costumes. So I love this jacket. And I was thinking of this for the plaid, the plaid fabric I have. So lots of costumes. I think I got this one for the jacket. I just want a basic jacket that I can start with. Always fun to make lingerie costumes renaissance I didn't these right here make it look cheap but I'm thinking if I change up the fabrics it will look better I love these coats I like just all the shapes I love this one for um, just the real simple this reminds me of California like it's just easy to, to throw on a top and a skirt and one layer that's all you need i like this jacket quick so i really like quick so there's they seem to be a little more true to size than the other ones another costume this one is for fitting and can't hurt on working on that okay i don't know why i got this except that i think my daughter might <laughs> might like it for her kids but little house on the prairie <laughs> this one i got because i like the stockings for christmas next year more costumes i'm thinking for the cape i can just use the pattern these look kind of cheesy but even if it even if it is it's easy to put the right fabric with it I made a dress like this for my oldest daughter when she was little. So cute. Another costume. Okay, this one, I don't know who I'd make it for or out of what, but it was so cute. I love the style. Isn't that adorable? So cute. I like the jacket on this. I don't like the pants. The skirt looks okay. This is just a little too masculine for my taste, those pants. I love a long top with the leggings. I like that. I like, I think it's just the simplicity of it that I like. And I almost didn't bring a lot of these things home because I really don't have a space for it, but I was like, it's free, why not just take it? Now I bought this one, I brought it, I got it. I got this one for a specific fabric. I bought this at Walmart and it was, I think it was like six yards for, no, four yards for six bucks. And I want a longer top that goes, that hangs down over my hips. And, but I don't want it just hanging. I want some kind of structure. Um, so if this doesn't work, there is another one in here. I hope I got it. They say I got it. I don't see it. Or maybe I passed it up already. So, of course, with the kids. I love the pants. I'm actually thinking about these, the wide legs like this for my plaid fabric. But I want a yoke waist, not a waistband. Can we say Gandalf? <laughs> that would be fun. 
another simple basic throw on dress. These are just pretty basic, but I like the silhouettes. Having someone else in mind, not me. That's cute too. I love, I got it because I like this. This is really cool looking. And then the last one, I was thinking about my daughter-in-law for this one. So cute. And even though this says 99 cents, I got them all for free. So 31 patterns for free, all this other fabric, and then I got some jean buttons because I have two more pairs of overalls to make. So my pile, my to-do list just keeps piling up. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.